Hi everyone, it is Louise Drake from Sewing Days. So, this is our first vlog and I thought we'd bring you along for the ride while we do some refurbishments over the next few weeks. We are having the floor replaced, so we need to move all the stock out of the way to then move it back. We're gonna have a big move around, I might do some painting. So we've got about six weeks until the shop opens, without waffling anymore. The next Louise you'll see will be the start of the move. <gasps> How exciting. So today is Tuesday and the floor is being done on Monday next week. Normally the shop is full of fixtures. At the moment we're moving everything so that we can get to the floor when they are here next week. I've started moving as much stock as I can but obviously we're still running as a business for the next week so I need to be able to get to stuff that people order online. I'll show you what it looks like now. The yarn section is probably not going to change too much but there's gaps everywhere. Um, I need to restock it all, but obviously I'm not gonna restock it until we've moved everything. This normally has our dress patterns on, but I've decided that we're not gonna be stocking those anymore. So they're all boxed up, ready to go back to the suppliers once I hear from them. So this looks so crazy. There's normally tons of fabric along here. Um, the table's full of kits and then over here normally loads of fabric and kits and sewing boxes. This whole section of flooring is going to be replaced. This section is actually really uneven, so this needs to be leveled out first. Yeah, it's got like loads of chips in and it's just not ideal, so it needs to be changed. Um, and then our fabric section, obviously we do not normally have these gaps. It's just because of having to move everything. I haven't been putting stuff back once I have cut it for customers or once new stock has come in. I've just been leaving it because we're just gonna have to move it on Saturday anyway. So I've sort of started a separate pile, but obviously there's normally a big table here as well. Um, so it just looks really empty compared to how it normally does. Um, and then over here, bit of a mess because I'm sorting stuff out. Some stuff's going to the charity shop when we can finally donate things again. But yeah, it just feels really weird in here. So I'm actually quite looking forward to it. It's the first time we've done anything like this since we moved in here. About two and a half years ago now so i'm really excited um, i'm excited to move the fixtures around as well because when we first moved in we sort of put everything down and that's pretty much where it stayed a bit like when you move house so i'm gonna pack the orders that came in over the weekend and then i'm gonna start doing a bit more moving about hi guys so today's thursday the floor is going down on monday saturday my husband's coming to help me fill up the floor so i've just done the last few moves of whatever i can do on my own without his help. So the only other thing I need to do, I need to move all this fabric still, but I'm still setting out orders on Saturday before he comes to help me do the floor. So I'm not gonna move all those yet because you can bet I'll move them and then they'll be the ones I need to pack. So from this side, it kind of looks pretty normal, but then you flip round <laughs> and there's just nothing, there's just nothing here. So if you're wondering where we put everything, oh, it's echoing, oh, it's weird. Everything is over here. So far, I've managed to condense everything that I've moved from the shop into this section. So it looks really, really full. Um, it's solid all the way back. Any fixtures I've put at the back as much as I can. It looks weird. So um, today is Saturday. It is 10.30 in the morning. Um, and today is the big day where we're going to be moving all the fixtures, taking up the floor and um, getting everything ready for the people to come and lay the new floor on Monday, Tuesday next week. Very exciting, but a lot of work ahead. I'm gonna finish up packing the orders. I'm gonna go to the post office and then my husband's gonna come and help me and that's when we'll start doing the moving. So uh, yeah, exciting times. So I've just been to the post office and dropped off our last few orders to go out, waiting for my husband to come. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna move all of this fabric, try and fit it over there. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> So the fabric is all moved. It looks really weird and it's really, really echoey in here now. Um, husband has arrived. He's uh, unscrewing lots of things from the wall. Um, I know this is really obvious, but I just want to point this out. We don't have to wear masks being in the same place because obviously we live in the same house. He's doing all the stuff I can't reach. And then the next thing to tackle is this whole area. When I look this way, I'm like, oh, we've done tons. This is amazing. Look how much progress we've made. And then I spin around and this bit looks exactly the same as it always does. <laughs> we'll get there.
So guys, we have just taken up the floor. It looks really, really good. This side is the bit that's being leveled because it's really uneven. And also there's tons of damp down here, which we didn't realize. But in this corner, there is so much damp. I'm a bit worried about it. I'm not sure what other guys are gonna say who are putting the floor down, but we'll cross that bridge on Monday. A few more bits of sweeping up to do. My glamorous assistant's doing that. Home time, we'll be back on Monday to uh, see what goes on. Exciting. Hi everyone, um, so it's Monday morning. I'm on my way to work, it's before nine o'clock and this doesn't happen for a while, well, about a year. It's very exciting. It's the first day of the floor situation being sorted today. So hopefully the guys are coming to sort out the mold. I'm a bit worried about it because we found it on Saturday and we didn't know that it was gonna be there. So it might add a big chunk to my bill. Okay, so I didn't finish that recording because the guy who was here to do the floor was outside the shop and staring at me while I was walking down the road talking to myself. So um, ignore the fact that I just stopped mid-sentence. It's weird vlogging in real life where there's people around you rather than when you're on your own um, in your safety bubble. So while he was laying the floor, I took a sponge and some paint and I did a paint effect on the wall behind the fabric and then where the dresser is gonna go as well. It's the same thing Thing that I did on the wall in my office at home but I used a bigger sponge and I used green instead of black so that's the background that you normally see on our videos. Hi guys, so it is now 11.45 on Monday. So this morning the guy has been here and he has put the leveler on this half of the floor. So there's like a little step down from here to here. Once this is set, he will be coming back tomorrow and the day after to lay the laminate. I hope it works. He sorted out the damp situation. So fingers crossed, it does stay okay. I am then gonna be painting this. So this was a dresser that we got for about 10 pound, two, three years ago. It was when we were in the old shop. I'm gonna do a whitewash on it to blend it in a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go home for the day because tomorrow I'm gonna be here all day while they're doing the flooring. Oh, we have to cover up all the stock at the back. So we're gonna put a, a sheet across there so that we don't get so much dust in there because when they're cutting the boards tomorrow, it will get dusty. We'll see you soon, guys. Okay, so the guys didn't want to be filmed laying the floor. They definitely thought I was a bit weird recording myself painting a wall the day before, so I really didn't think it would be a good idea to show them working. The next bit you're gonna see is after the floor's done. So we're just gonna completely miss a step because yeah, they didn't want to be filmed. So we're gonna cut to the end of Tuesday. It's really not ideal, but can't do much about it. It is the end of the first day of the floor being laid and look at it. It looks so good. I know it doesn't look massively different from what we had before. The quality is so much better. There's no chips in it. Tomorrow we're getting a doormat put in. Like it just looks so good. And then with the wall as well, it's all coming together. Tomorrow the floor should be done and then we can get all the stock put back in where it needs to go and start receiving new stock. It's all very exciting. Hi everyone, Wednesday lunchtime now and the floor is done. The guys just left and it looks so good i wish i'd done all of the floor because we only had half of it done but just more money than i can spend at the moment and it's really easy to just extend it along if i ever decide to in the future the thing now is that oh this is the hard work when we've got to move all of the fixtures back and then all of the stock and then i need to order more stock and then get the deliveries in and then put them out so uh yeah a lot of work ahead hi guys so it is now tuesday morning the last time you saw me was wednesday sometime i can't remember when it was um but basically after i spoke to you um we started putting all the furniture back i'd basically been at the shop too much over the last few days and was trying to think about too many things and i just had the biggest grump on and i couldn't see the wood for the trees couldn't see what it looked like anymore so i just put everything where i thought i wanted it and then went home <laughs> basically i just couldn't get it in my head and i was tired and really grumpy and i just thought i'd be better off going home coming back with fresh eyes so i then had a few days off over the weekend which i really really needed and now i'm back i'm in my car i'm outside the shop you can see it's just there um so i'm about to go back in and see what i did last week for the first time so i thought i would bring you and show you what my reaction is because i'm not sure i like it 
I don't really know. So hopefully it's not as bad as I think it is, but I'll grab my bag and then we'll go inside. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm trying not to look up. <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm trying to just look at it with fresh eyes. Okay. Okay. It's it's not as bad as I thought. I'm not sure I'm happy with it, but it's not as bad as I thought. I'll show you guys. So this section behind me is pretty much the same as it was before the yarn section. Um, this I painted last week, this unit, and I don't like it. So that's gonna be painted all white. I pretty much decided that when I was at home. Same with this table behind me. This will be um, completely covered in vinyl, so it'll be white as well, because there's just too many wood tones going on. Um, now, I'm actually pretty happy with the fabric wall. And I wasn't sure if I really liked it, but coming back in today, it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was. Um, I'm not sure if I'm crazy about how all the tables and things are set out, but it was probably gonna be one of those things where I leave it where it is, get all the stock back out, and then slowly move it as I go along. That's what I always do. Every couple of weeks, I seem to move something. Um, but I have still got a ton of work to do. So in conclusion, not completely happy, but not crying either. Everything can be fixed. So all of the orders are packed and ready to go to the post office. I've moved a few things around, but really just to clear space so that I can actually see what I'm doing. My first job is going to be repainting this unit. So I did it last week and I really hate it. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't leave it the color that it was because it was like a weird orange piney color and it sort of didn't really fit. So I'm now gonna paint it completely white and I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot better. So, got my brush ready. Can't get any worse, can it? Guys, it looks so much better. So it's completely white now, which just looks so much better than the weird wash thing. And then I'm just gonna move on to this, but um, I need to go to the post office first. I think that's probably it for me here today. I will be back on Thursday, moving tons more stock, sorting out all my ordering, and then hopefully we'll be getting the shop a little bit closer to where it needs to be. Hi guys, so it's Saturday again, so it's two full weeks since I started doing the big move before the floor went down, and it's gonna be the last day of the vlog today. I've been having a few days off, I've had a real bad headache, but we are back today, and we mean business. So today is the last day of getting everything back to where it needs to be. So the fabric wall is 99% done. I've just got a few bits in the middle that I've sent out with orders that I need to put back properly. This table is gonna get the fat quarters put back on it. This table I'm actually leaving until Monday because I'm gonna put vinyl on the top and I have somebody coming in to help me do a stock take on Monday so they will be helping me do the table. It's easier with four hands. Um, I have sorted out what will be our sale yarn section in the baskets here. These guys are all going back today so it'll be nice and neat here. The wall, I've done as much as I can until my deliveries arrive. This guy has now been painted and looks really, really good. I'm so happy with it. So my job for today is to get all of the stuff that's going on there ready. And yeah, then just a few tidying up bits. My next job for next week is to sort out the other end. But you guys are really only interested in the vlog and the floor and all of the refurb stuff. So um, I will get on and yeah, I'm excited for it to be the last day. Not long now. I definitely wasn't expecting it to take as long as it has, but I think I've needed to take it slow while I figured a few things out. And like I said before, I wasn't sure if I was happy with it. I definitely am. And after a while, I'll probably just move everything around again anyway. But I'm ready to get this finished and move on with my life. <laughs> it's always in the back of my brain, even when I'm at home for a few days. So let's get going. It's now almost two o'clock. I was gonna go home at 12, but I just got stuck in. And this is gonna be the wrap up of the vlog for the refurb side of getting the shop ready for reopening at the end of April. So what I'm gonna do is show you a quick look around now. And then in about a month or so, or just before we reopen, I will do a whole video of a complete shop tour as it will be when we are ready for you guys to come back in. So for now, let me show you around. So this is our yarn section. It obviously has the new floor, which makes it look really fresh. I've moved quite a few of the bits of stock around and um, put new displays up. We've got the little 
mannequin with the yellow cardigan which is new um obviously we've still got gaps but like i said we're waiting for deliveries and i'm gonna have a big move around when they come so we'll see for now um they just looks a bit like this um the dresser does look amazing white and i can't wait to get everything on there properly then we have the threads in the same place our button table is now here um, then we go over to all of our fabrics. We have our fabric wall with the new green print behind it, our table of fat quarters, panels, jerseys down here, which I will be selling. Um, they will be going once um, they're on the website properly and I've done my little sale. And then we have polycons as well, and then all of our little kits. So before you see this again, I'm pretty sure all of it will have moved. But for now, with the floor, with the changing of the fixtures, with painting, and with just lightening up in general. I think it looks so good, and I am so happy with it. It looks amazing. So that's it for my first vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, I will be doing one in a couple of weeks time of the shop as it is ready to go out. I will be giving you a full shop tour then once it looks presentable and um, all my deliveries have arrived. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I am Louise. This is Sewing Days. I will see you next Tuesday for another video. Have a good day, guys. Bye.